everyone, Jeanette here with my beautiful, attractive assistant Lottie, who are going to help me do the winter seed sowing method because it's all the rage. I have not done it before. Have you? No? We've neither of us have done it before. It's all the rage. We've got to get on board. Let's give it a go. Mm -hmm. She smells peachy. Oh. We're going to make little tiny mini greenhouses and plant our seeds in them and we can leave them there and we can forget about them and these seeds are going to be so hardy so where you sow things inside under grow lights that is amazing I'm going to do that too but I'm just doing a little few seeds of each of the ones that I will be doing inside in these to see what happens everyone has such success with it and they're hardy so whereas your grow lights ones you have to start hardening them off you have to spend time bringing them outside an hour here two hours three hours four hours and all that which I will have to do that too but this is apparently a fabulous method you just leave them outside they just have to be see-through or opaque like this so that the sunlight can get to them all we have to do is Put some drainage holes in the bottom that's very important just some little holes like that some people put them in the sides as well you want to have about four inches of soil in enough for the roots but you've also got to think these plants need some room to grow i'm only going to put a few seeds in here so we'll cut in along all the way round like that got a little hinge little planting spot this is cute That's that done. Next piece of advice I've learned is you don't use seed starting mix as you would with your normal seeds because these are going to be in here and they need a little bit of nutrients. So we're having potting compost instead. We need to mix it up with some water. Now we need to get messy. We need to add enough water. That's not enough at all. It's got to be moist. You must have moist soil because we're not going to water these ever again. This is it. The only water they will get is from the rain. Oh. It's got to be moist. I think a little bit more. okay you want it like you can squeeze it to a clump like that but water's not running out but it's nice and moist I think that will do fill up the pots
like that. This car was parked behind the back door. The Cedar Black El Camino 1969. Well, he said, give me some more love, give me some love, give it all. His filthy fingers said. That is the messy bit. The worst bit's over. I was very annoyed. I just ran out of soil, as you may have noticed. I have bought some beautiful seeds. Oh, they're just gorgeous. I have um, a whole host. I have Echinacea Pink Parasol. I have Potentilla, Melt and Fire. We have Cerinth, Major Pure Puracins. Some Zinnias, Queenie Mixed. Cardoons. Now, I've wanted to do cardoons for a while. Echinacea Green Twister. Zinnia Zinderella Peach. Echinox Retro. Zinnia Forecast. Ageratum Blue Mink. Some of them are perennials and some are annuals. And I've done my labels, did all that. So it's always a good idea to do your labels first because you get messy, you get cold and you need your labels. I'm going to put the labels inside. I'll probably write on the outside as well. So I'm going to do one to show you. I'm only going to put uh, very few seeds in. I'm not going to double sow them. I'm just going to put maybe six in each and maybe nine in the big one. So let's give it a go. I'll show you the first one. This is very exciting. So here's my first one. Just press it all down nice and neat and stick that there to weigh it down. That'll do. Right, here we go. So I'm just doing six little seeds. That's all I'm going to do. And I'll follow the instructions for each seed type. That's it, give them room to grow. And I do have some vermiculite, so I'm going to use that to cover them with. And that is my Echinacea Pink Parasol. One down, nine to go. little job I did give them all a little squirt and that is the last time that we would be watering them we don't have to do anything else so all you do is seal them up with a bit of duct tape if I can find the end to seal them up into their little greenhouses and that's it. Write the name on the side. 
My writing is terrible because my hands are so cold. Here we go. All done. All in their little homes for the next couple of months. So that is it. I'm so glad I gave this a go. And we don't have to do anything apart from have a little look every now and then. No more watering, no more nothing. I wish them all success and I'll be monitoring them and I will keep you updated and I hope you give it a go. That's it. I'm Jeanette, I'm the Enthusiastic Gardener. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun in your gardens and I will see you very, very soon. Thank you. Bye.